there have been a pretty hilarious set of events unfolding lately. Where to start? I'm alone in the scamp. We've been having car problems. We have talked about this many times because it's been a problem for a long time. Our car kind of vibrates as we drive, as we accelerate. We've had this issue for a long time because we got it fixed, sort of. We needed to replace the front axle and we replaced it with these cheap knockoff parts thinking that that would be okay. But we've got a Subaru XT, so it's very powerful. And I guess because of the power and because of towing and because we're always off road, those parts just got beat to shit instantly. Uh, they lasted for a few months and slowly have been getting worse and worse. So now we need to go back in and get them replaced again, but with OEM parts. <sighs> The reason it is all so funny is the car's been shaking, right? So we have not been wanting to drive it until we have been able to figure out exactly what's causing it. We took it into town. The closest town is 20 minutes away. They said it was a transmission issue. I don't know anything about cars, but they said the problem was something that when you Google it, this doesn't come up. Like these don't correlate. I think it was bullshit. So that was a few days ago. We haven't been able to do our laundry because the closest laundromat is 40 minutes away in the next closest town. And we've been afraid to take the car there. Because of this transmission diagnosis, we were like, okay, let's get a second opinion. <laughs> the only place that could get us in before Thanksgiving next week was the Subaru dealership. So the plan was to have Baron bring all of our laundry, go out to the dealership, they said we could get a loaner car. Um, they said a lot of things. They actually don't do loaner cars for people who don't have full coverage insurance. So he ended up not being able to get a loaner car. So Subaru is in the shop with all of our laundry in the back. They end up saying that it is the CV joints that we need to replace them with OEM parts. Cool, okay, expensive, but transmission they had nothing they said nothing about the transmission great news baron has to stay overnight because they said if it's shaking that bad it would not be a good idea to drive it all the way back here and then all the way back again tomorrow to get the parts replaced baron's gonna stay overnight with his cousin jamie i'm gonna stay in this camp alone for the first night ever and then we realized i don't have any blankets and i said oh it's fine i've got a blanket i've got all my clothes it's fine wait <laughs> I don't have any of my clothes here. I don't even have my puffy coat. It's in the car. <sighs> so that's where we're at with all that. Like Baron could come back here, but for what? Then he'd have to go all the way back. Like I don't need him to stay here. I'm okay to do this night in the woods alone. One other update. It's been so cloudy and it will continue to be so cloudy. Uh, I think tomorrow it'll be sunny, but it's been so cloudy that we haven't been able to get any solar power. So our battery this morning was at 12%, which is not good. So I've got videos and like stuff to work on, but I can't charge my laptop because our battery is so dead. And I need this to have some charge so that I can keep my phone charged and lights on and everything. And it's like freaking survival right now. It's hilarious and it's awesome. And I've been wanting to test myself like this for a long time just hasn't come about and I am feeling brave and excited and uh I think it'll be fine <laughs> this is what we're working with right now because I want to conserve power I haven't been using my laptop but I was trying to warm it up in the sun overnight when it gets cold it loses all of its charge uh, so I always try to warm it up before I use it been journaling. I spent a good amount of time looking at all my favorite things <laughs> this morning because I am trying to save power and not be on my electronics. These are all my beautiful rings. I put on a new ring about every week or so. I'm gonna need to figure that stuff out, but here's a camp. It's just you and me, babe. Camp's a pretty good watchdog. Yeah. Keeping the fire going a little bit, but trying to conserve our wood. Uh, if it were barren in here, he probably wouldn't have the stove going at all, but... It's my house today, so I do what I want. Baron taught me this cool trick when we first started dating. You can tell how many hours of sun you have left based on how many hands you can fit between the sun and the horizon. 
One hand is about an hour, so it looks like I've got about one hour until sunset. It's 2.56 right now. Let's see how accurate I am. I'll come back in one hour and see. Sun is beginning to set. How's that for winter? It's not even four o'clock and the sun is setting. While we let that warm up, I'm gonna take camp on a quick walk to pee before the coyotes start coming out. You ready? You don't gotta walk. <laughs> a pee cup. I haven't used it in a long time. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go pee more than once. So I feel like I should wait to use the pee cup until later, which means I have to go outside now. Hello, it's me. I've been wondering if after all, you like. Made it. My pants half up. <laughs> so this is kind of my plan with the blankets is I'll sleep under. And on top of the merino blanket, camp will be on the outside so that he can protect me. Then cover up with the down comforter. I'll probably load the wood stove one more time tonight, but I'm honestly look comfortable. I'm tired. I feel warm enough right now. I'm sleeping with this very heavy metal rod <laughs> next to me. Feeling great. I'm gonna load the stove one more time like I said and then I'm probably gonna go to sleep and you will see me in the morning and hear how my first ever night alone went. Good night! Look up at 6.15 freezing. <laughs> My toes were actually numb. I looked at the weather and it's 20 degrees right now. Mm. I think we're both pretty cold. The camp is squeaking. Mm. 
I slept pretty well through the night. I woke up every few hours. Ugh, I don't want to get up. I'm so cold. Mm. But I should get the stove going again. Trying to get it going with the last log I have in here and some fire starters, but I don't know. I left both of our cast iron pots on top of the stove to try to retain some heat last night. Especially with the wood stove, it's impossible to keep the scamp spotless. And I don't have any rags. I don't have any clothes here. For these next few shots, the counter is just going to be dirty. Oops. I like taking milk thistle in the morning on an empty stomach. This helps to cleanse the liver. I do this specifically during my luteal phase when I have excess estrogen. Um, it helps my liver release some of that and it's helped with my hormones quite a lot. Later in the day I'll take some fish oil. This is also fish oil. This was on sale. That's usually how I like to buy vitamins is if I see something, a quality vitamin on sale, I'll buy it. These are some fresh cap mushrooms, uh, Thrive Six. I think there's six varieties of mushrooms in these guys. This is B12, zinc. This is chased berry, charcoal for if we happen to get sick. Digestives, if I eat something crazy like dairy will often kind of upset my stomach. Magnesium and some turmeric. Studies have shown that turmeric actually works better than ibuprofen. I'm not sure if that's real, but that's how I use this turmeric. making some greens powder this morning. I still haven't eaten. This is a really good way in the winter for us to get our nutrients and all the greens that we're missing because we can't have fresh greens. I'm just mixing it up in a jar. And then we're gonna go on a long W. Cheers. It's kind of like drinking juice in the morning. Clean it out by pouring a little water inside and drink that water. One more time, just to make sure it's extra clean. Our dishes don't get washed in here like they would in a regular house. And then leave that open to dry. Okay, are you ready, mister? Good morning. Yes, it is. Come on, let's go. Should we go back? Walked pretty far. Can you see the scamp? 
This is where we are. And the scamp is in there. What are you doing? This is my breakfast. A couple eggs, some mashed sweet potatoes with shallot and garlic that I made a couple days ago. A couple pieces of turnip and then some fermented sauerkraut. He's back! <laughs> Greetings. Here are all the things. Oh, wow. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Hi, Bubba. What's up? Hi. Happy boy. Hi. So, oh my gosh, where you been? My dad. <laughs> we were scared. Hi, <laughs> mister. Hello. <laughs>